the date. May the 15th, 2004. History has been made. Played 38, won 26, drawn 12, lost exactly none. Well, folks, the news is out, and it's not what Arsenal fans were hoping for. Young Benjamin Sesko, RB Leipzig's talented forward, looks set to stay put in Germany. It's a blow for Arteta and Edu, who were reportedly keen on bringing the Slovenian starlet to the Emirates. But as we all know, the transfer market is a fickle beast, and Arsenal need to quickly move on to other targets. With Jesus leading the line, there's no doubt that Arsenal have firepower up front. But every top team needs strength and depth, and a reliable goal scorer who can push Jesus and Nkataya is crucial if Arsenal are to compete on all fronts next season. So the question is, who are the Gunners lining up as potential alternatives to Sesko? Let's take a look at some of the names being whispered in the corridors of the Emirates. One name that's been mentioned in connection with Arsenal is Alexander Isak. The Swedish striker currently plies his trade at Newcastle United, and he's no stranger to the Premier League. He's a young lad, still only 23, but he's got a good few seasons under his belt now, and he's shown glimpses of real quality. He's got pace to burn, that's for sure, and he can finish with both feet. He's not afraid to run at defenders, and he's got a bit of physical presence about him, which is always handy in this league. He hasn't quite hit the heights that some expected at Newcastle, but there's no doubt he's got potential. The Toon Army will certainly be hoping he finds his shooting boots on a regular basis soon. Now whether Newcastle would be willing to let him go is another matter entirely. They've got ambitious owners and they're building something special up there at St. James's Park. They splashed the cash on Isak last summer and they'll be hoping he comes good for them. From Arsenal's perspective, Isak could be a shrewd signing. He's already adapted to the Premier League, which is a big plus, and he fits the profile of player that Artita seems to favor, young, hungry, and with a point to prove. He might not be the finished article just yet, but there's no doubt he's got the potential to be a top, top striker. Whether Edu and Arteta decide to make a move for him remains to be seen. It'll be interesting to see how this one develops over the next few weeks. Now this next one is an interesting one, Ivan Tony. The Brentford talisman has been in red-hot form in the Premier League, banging in goals for fun. He's a natural finisher, strong as an ox, and a real handful for defenders. He's got that bit of swagger about him too, which you need in a striker. Of course, there's the small matter of his betting ban to consider. He's been sidelined for a while now, and it's going to be interesting to see how he comes back from that. But there's no doubt that he's a top quality striker, and if he can put his off-field issues behind him, he could be a real asset to Arsenal. He's been linked with a move away from Brentford for a while now, and you can understand why. He's probably outgrown the bees, if you know what I mean, and he'll be looking to test himself at a higher level. And let's be honest, Arsenal would certainly represent a step up. He's got all the attributes to be a success at the Emirates. He's got the goals in him, he's got the physicality, and he's got the right attitude. He's a winner, plain and simple. Whether Arsenal decide to take a punt on him remains to be seen. It would be a gamble, for sure, but it could be one that pays off big time. And who knows, maybe a move to North London is just what Tony needs to get his career back on track. Let's talk about Victor Osimhen, shall we? The Nigerian striker has been tearing it up in Serie A with Napoli. He's a goal machine, pure and simple. He's got the lot pace, power, finishing. He's a nightmare for defenders, and he's got that knack for being in the right place at the right time. He's the kind of striker who can win you games single-handedly. He's been linked with all the big clubs, and it's no surprise. He's one of the hottest properties in European football right now. Napoli will be desperate to keep hold of him, but it's going to be tough. When the big boys come calling, it's hard to say no. Now I know what you're thinking. Arsenal have already got Gabriel Jesus. Where would O'Simon fit in? Well, I'll tell you where. Up front, banging in the goals. Listen, you can never have too many good strikers. Competition for places is healthy, and it brings the best out of players. Imagine a front three of Osimhen, Jesus, and Saka. That's a scary thought for any defense. The pace, the power, the goals, it's enough to give opposition managers nightmares. Of course, signing Osimhen wouldn't be cheap. He's going to cost a king's ransom. But if Arsenal are serious about challenging for the biggest trophies, they need to be willing to splash the cash. 
Osamin is a game changer, the kind of player who can take you to the next level. So there you have it, folks. Three potential striker targets for Arsenal. Three very different players with their own unique strengths and weaknesses. It's going to be fascinating to see who Arteta and Edu decide to go for. Or maybe they've got another trick up their sleeve. This is the transfer window after all, and anything is possible. Let me know in the comments down below who you think Arsenal should sign. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Arsenal news and updates. Until next time, say it with me. Up the Gunners! Napoli in